students welcome again today we will start with the same topic on equality children yesterday we have studied about the equal right to vote through the story of kanta now we saw in the story of kanta that how kanta was discriminated how kanta was facing the inequality in both the situations yes or no children in both the situations so today we are going to study about the other kinds of equality where we face is now children even though we have equality in the voting right but there are many other phases in which we face the inequalities people are not treated equally in uh, other aspects also so children let us see what are the other kinds of inequalities which people face actually our constitution has said that each and every citizen should get the equal rights in all the aspects but still we have got only the right in the voting but in the other aspects we are not getting the equal right we still face the inequalities so children first of all caste system caste system forms the base of inequality now i will tell you even though even though nowadays the people are literate but still children the people who live in the urban areas they just ignore the caste system but the people who live in the rural areas even though they are literate but still caste is a very important factor for them when they think of the marriages so this way even though the people are literate they think of the caste when the questions when it when the situation comes for the marriages okay children so this way caste system has formed the base of the inequality and really the caste system affects the dignity of the people the caste system hurts the dignity of the people in the society and this we are going to study through the story of om prakash valmiki now children in class 6 you have studied about the term dalit what do you mean by dalit dalit means broken the term dalit was used for the untouchables yes or no we have studied this that about the dalits in detail so dalit was the term which was used for the untouchables untouchable means the people who were treated means um, who were treated very uh, rudely in the society they were not allowed to come in the common places they were not allowed to take what from the well in the villages so this type of treatment was given to the untouchables so om prakash valmiki om prakash valmiki was also a dalit writer and in his autobiography jhutan he has written the experienced autobiography now om prakash valmiki was a small when he was going to the school and he was asked to clean the classroom means to sweep the classroom and all by his teacher means teachers mentality was also like that see there were so many students there were so many children who come to study in the school but in his class he was asked to clean the floor to clean the chairs and all this type of work and children also showed him that he was different from them they used to uh, they asked him to sit separately ha huh? they didn't allow him to mix with, mingle with them for the other activities and all so this type of treatment he was getting in the school by the students and the teachers now this continued for the couple of the days one day when his father was passing through the school he saw his son doing this type of work cleaning the floor uh putting water uh, means giving watering the plants and everything he saw him doing this type of work it's okay children no problem if all the students were doing this work his father would not have felt bad but when he saw only his child doing this type of work sweeping and all he felt very bad 
he just went to the school and he took his son and he told his teacher that this should not happen again and my son will study in the same school with the same children and civic city with the same dignity means what children why why om prakash valmiki was discriminated because he was from the caste which was considered as the dalit so this shows the discrimination on the basis of the caste system so this way in the society we see many people are facing inequalities because of the caste system second story is about mr and mrs ansari mr and mrs ansari were also living in india's one of the larger cities and they were in search of a good apartment in the city money was no problem to them but they wanted a good area in the city to live so they so they concerned one uh, property dealer and they told him that they wanted a apartment nice apartment in the city the property dealer take them to some of the places when they went to see the apartment there they found that after telling their name people started giving some or the excuses that the proper that this apartment is already sold this is given on the rent some said that we don't want the people who are eating non vegetarian we want totally the people who are vegetarian so this type of excuses were given so so finally the Uh, Mr and Mrs Ansari was told by the property dealer that if you will change your name instead of Mr and Mrs Ansari if you will give your name as Mr and Mrs Kumar you might get a good apartment but this was against their dignity means here the people are facing the see people are facing inequalities because of the caste money does not matter here even though they were well economically well even though they were economically well but they faced the inequality in the society because of their name a system forms the base of the inequality and from these two stories we came to know that really a system discriminates the people in the society which hurts their dignity so om prakash valmiki and mr and mrs ansari it was also a very bad experience for both of them because really when the people are discriminated in the society among all the people it really hurts them. so uh, even though our constitution says that that all the people are equal no one should be discriminated on the basis of caste religion sex but still there are inequalities in some of the fields so for today we will stop here children you will read the story of om prakash valmiki and mr ansari from your textbook thank you